Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor, and today we are here with a video that uh, I did tease in my previous video um, that I would be doing a rank up soon for a new rank 3, and today um, I just managed to get another, uh, sorry, enough tier 2 alpha together from Alliance Quest rewards, because Alliance Quest ended today, that I am now able to take that champ up. And it also just happens to be level up. I would have just waited a day if it was not level up. Uh, but yeah, there is level up going on right now. So that is why we are doing it. Um, I could wait like an hour for the new 7 hour event. And then see if maybe I could double up. But I'm just not going to worry about that. We're just going to do it. So if you guys saw my video of my spring cleaning opening, which as I'm recording right now, I still have not posted. I'll probably post it tonight and then post this video the next day. Um, but basically I did end up picking up the six star awakening gem and I will show you guys, uh, the class that I picked. So I, I picked a mutant. Apparently I do not know how to find awakening gems, uh, right here. Okay, so you, we have a six-star Mutant Awakening gem, and we're going to be using it today. Uh, and if you guys did not know, one of the champions that got buffed, who is one of my very favorite champions in the game, is actually one of the highest prestige champions at low sig. And if you actually compare, um, you compare him to the number one prestige champion in the game, which I think is Surfer. I'm pretty sure it's Surfer. Um, He's actually ahead of Surfer until SIG 144. It's only at SIG 145 that Surfer passes the champion I'm going to rank up. So it just makes sense for the short term, like get this champion to SIG 140 and stop pumping stones into him. That's going to be a big prestige increase for me. And I'm not going to hit 13k in this video, but we're going to come damn close. So... Enough teasing, let's go to the Mutant 6-star class. And if you guys see the champion that I want to rank up, it is not Emma Frost. It is not Cable. We're actually going to be taking up Gambit to rank 3. So I do have a 5-star Gambit maxed out. Um, I used him in incursions in the Prime Tournament when I got my run that went to um, Room 18. Uh, but... He is an awesome champion. I love playing him. I'm probably going to make videos with him. Uh, for example, one that I am interested in making is a, um, a Grandmaster solo because I've only ever gotten one. And it was with Morningstar, who's one of my other favorite champions. So I really, really want to do it with Gambit. I know he is just absolutely perfect for that fight. So yeah. Uh, it's going to take a long time. It's probably going to be like a 15, 16 minute solo, but I know I can do it. So anyways, let's get to ranking him up. Uh, after we rank him up, we're going to pop in the gem and then all the stones we have, we're going to pop in our mutant stones and our generics. And actually, I think I have a few signature stone crystals. Um, let me just check. I, I might have opened them. I might have already opened them. Yeah, I already opened them. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's rank him up. And this is actually going to be only my second mutant rank three, uh, but my 13th overall uh, rank three. So currently we have Guillotine, Apocalypse, both at SIG 200, Red Goblin and Killmonger, both at SIG 100, Falcon, SIG 60, Morningstar, SIG 49, Ghost is SIG 100, um, and then Nick Fury, Sorcerer, Warlock, and I Hulk are all unduped at rank 3. Um, Nick Fury unduped at rank 3 is a bold decision, but you know what? I kind of like him. Kind of like him. Maybe I'll eventually chuck in a generic, but no time soon, I don't think. Um, but yeah, let's take a gambit. So we were very short on tier 2 alpha. In fact, this morning I only had 4. So I went through a bunch of the event quest. I'm almost done. I think I have like two paths left to 100% it. My chair low? Yeah, it was. Um, but we did uh, do enough of it, plus the Alliance quest rewards, and I opened daily crystals. The last daily crystal I opened gave me a full tier 2 alpha, which actually made me able to do it. I would have just grinded out the event quest tonight, and I would have gotten enough. 
uh, but this way I don't have to. So, enough waiting. Let's take six star Gambit to rank three. And there we go. That is beautiful. So I do not have enough ISO, um, but I did look at the classes and I do have a lot of cosmic and skill and I have zero cosmic or skill champions that need to be leveled up. So we are going to use some of that ISO um, as I know that my mutant ISO is going to get me nowhere near uh, level 45. So I can use this safely. It's not going to waste anything. Um, I was considering maybe selling some ISO, but I, I don't really think I'm going to go for that. The only stuff we're not going to sell or use um, is going to be the 17.5k the ones, because I can just let them sit in my inventory until I need them. Uh, and it doesn't actually slow down the process that much. But uh, with the trick of video editing, uh, my Gambit is now going to go all the way from SIG 12 to, or sorry, uh, level 12 to level 45, right? Now, that edit it, that editing was probably like really, really horrible. Uh, in reality, that took about two minutes. I didn't think that it would take, I thought it would take like a lot longer uh, to put all the ISO in and I probably should not have even like grouped it like that. But I just have like two and a half full minutes of me not saying anything. So I'm gonna edit that together so it looks like it happened right back to back but yes uh we are gonna just throw this gem not the generic i'm not gonna misclick and put a generic awakening gem to gambit a mutant awakening gem right there into gambit i just want to make sure i have my generic still yep i still do um and he's already up there he's not in my prestige yet uh so i'm at 12 7 6 5 uh, so we're just gonna chuck all of our stones that we have into gambit right now so here are the generics. If they load uh, stones like this, usually take a while to load. There we go. He's, oh, he's already in my prestige. Um, but yeah, let's throw in our 45 generics. This is a lot of generic stones. Uh, but I actually looked at, I considered, let me, before I do this, I considered throwing my stones into Red Goblin, Killmonger, and Morningstar. And I also did look at Falcon. Um, it turns out that, I actually get the best prestige increase from putting the stones into Gambit, which is weird because Red Goblin actually has a higher prestige uh, overall. But yeah, the stones actually are going to help out Gambit's prestige uh, and my overall prestige a lot more. So let's just hit use. 45 stones into Gambit. Really, these stones do nothing. Like, I'll show you guys his, uh, his SIG ability. It really does nothing. Um, all it does is it just allows you to take more damage in your flak jacket. Um, and the flak jacket does uh, bleed resistance, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, incoming bleeds affect uh, suffer negative 150% potency, so you just heal from them. And then you also get a little bit of extra uh, critical damage rating from your prowesses. But really, he does not need to be awakened whatsoever, like at all. Um, but... Yeah, it is for prestige, so let's chuck this in. Uh, we're not going to have any uh, gameplay along with this video, um, but we are going to have gameplay later, I promise. So let's put these last stones into Gambit. Uh, my prestige, if I calculate this correctly, should be 12932. 12,932 um, at SIG 64. So let's see what it is. Um, and yeah, 12,932. Uh, so I was at 12,765. So that's uh, not quite 170. It's actually 167 increase. Um, but I'm only 18 prestige points away from saying that I have a 13k prestige because I always round up or down. So right now I'm at 12.9. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, pretty much going to be it. Um, let's... Uh, Let's take a look, see if this is still in the Alliance feed. Look at that. Oh, no, someone else did a rank up. Rank three on their five-star um, Hulk. Okay, look at that. Um, that is rank three on a six-star Gambit, which is just crazy. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, that is pretty much going to be it. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone else in my Alliance has a rank three six-star Awakened Gambit, so I might be the first. Uh, but who knows? Someone else might. 
but that is going to be it for this one uh hope you guys enjoyed i know i'm definitely going to enjoy this i adore him pair him with my rank three six star sig 200 apocalypse and he just becomes a absolute monster but yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye